Hey, I am at my grandparents' house in the tiny town of Yellow Springs, Ohio, where my mom grew up. I'm here actually freelancing for the local radio station, but I wanted to show you around a little bit here because my grandmother is a collector of some very interesting stuff, and I wanted to show you some of that. Behind the plants here we have the Molidor. This is the name of my grandmother's store that she ran with a friend. They didn't make any money because they sold junk. As a matter of fact, their motto was trash with class. There are a lot of animals around here. Here's a rooster and another rooster. Here's a cow on its pedestal where it belongs. Bunnies and fruit made out of Play-Doh by my cousin Maddie. And here is the Easter Bunny. I'll warn you, it's about to do something rather frightening when I touch its paw. <laughs> That thing is like 12 years old, but it's still going strong. This bunny actually provided the musical accompaniment to a few stop-motion animations that me and my cousins made back in the day. Every time I come here, I find something new and slightly inexplicable. This time, a bowl of Simpsons. Now we've reached the video portion of the program, including Liberty, which is this six-episode series from PBS on the American Revolution. Seriously, this got me into the American Revolution as a six-year-old. My grandpa's showing me this movie and Schoolhouse Rock. You really should watch Liberty if you get the chance. It's like part documentary and part like office-style mockumentary where they get actors to read historical documents in a super overdramatic way. My favorite is King George saying, I beat the rebels! I beat them! Here's a poetry book I wrote, and here... Yes, Play-Doh people. Oh my goodness. My mom and her sisters made these. These are ancient. My grandmother collects brides and grooms. There are so many of these in here. She took them all on an airplane once for my aunt's wedding and she had to explain to security that she had 72 brides and grooms in her suitcase. We have interesting ways of naming rooms in this house. This room, for example, is the hell hole. It's got storage and an extra refrigerator. I think it actually turns into the heck hole when it's neater, but now it's definitely the hell hole. And here we have the large muscle room, which is where I stay when I come to live here. This is just a spare bedroom basically and more storage, but we called it the large muscle room. Actually my brother and I named it that because of the large muscle room at our elementary school, which I think was just a multi-purpose room, but we started calling this room the large muscle room and my grandparents name things after funny things that their kids and grandkids say, so it became the large muscle room forever. My grandmother actually calls this room the basement, even though it's on the same level as the rest of the house, but it feels kind of basement-y. And this is what I love about my family, the weird little things that we find interesting and worth collecting, and the way we use English that's like different from every other human on the planet. I hope you enjoyed this little mini tour. Let me know if you want to see more of my grandparents' house, and I will maybe give you a tour if they are okay with it. I hope you're doing well. See you soon.